Okay, hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to JRD Broker Traders Tea Time uh, with me, that is Nolan Charles, because today's the 25th of October 2018. So, welcome everyone. Welcome to this Thursday's afternoon session where we're going to have a look at the markets, what's happening with them right now. Um, <clears throat> so, yep, but before we uh, start looking at the charts, let's quickly have a look at our risk disclaimer. So, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest, and we can continue. Okay, now then guys, let's jump into the charts. Now the first one I want to touch on is the S&P 500. Now uh, probably you understand that we were hit heavily yesterday by the, um, well, by the markets and yep, the, the S&P here declined sharply to the downside. Uh, let me just put a daily chart on this one here. And this is the level where it found support. And I had this level marked here in one of my previous videos where I was discussing the S&P and uh, the 2655 area approximately there kind of played out nicely as a, as a good area of support. Um, Certainly, as you are, you know as well that looking at the cash indices right now, uh, we did have a, get a bit of a retracement back to the upside here. Um, certainly, let's see how this day is going to go on. Um, but if this suddenly gets a breakthrough here again, if this level, the 26.55 level, gets broken again, now then, well, we could see um, another move here to, towards uh, much lower levels, and the first good potential area of support could be around the 25.95 zone. So keep your eyes on that. And certainly we do have the uh, the psychological 2600 above that a little bit, but the 2595 here was marked here by the low that we had here around the 3rd of May. So um, again, for, for today, guys, keep your eyes on the 2655. Let's see how that plays out. Um, if, like I said, if the um, if we won't see a break here, and or let's say if we'll get a nice falls breakout, but then the um, the bulls will manage to quickly push it back up again here, then we're we're going to keep a close eye on the 2692 zone, which was uh, marked here by the lows that we saw around the 27th of Ju June. And this basically, uh, this level here could potentially act as a very first initial good area of resistance. But if this gets broken, then um, we could in a way start aiming for this uh, 2711 level. So approximately there. Now this area here, it was marked, uh, I had it marked here in the past, but as you can see yesterday, it the index uh, managed to comfortably break it to the downside and yep this is where we ended up being at so uh, today like I said all eyes are on on today's opening bell of course and the way how uh, this will develop throughout so if suddenly this reverses back up here and closes above the 2711 now this could be a nice potential bullish sign here for maybe get a, capturing a bit more uh, retracement here back to the upside uh, where we could then aim for um, the uh, 2755 zone initially or even actually let me just adjust this level here a little bit we could see another test maybe of this 2779 uh, zone approximately there so um, of course for now uh, for now if we if we would get a nice good reversal here to the upside then yep keep your keep your eyes on the 2755 zone um, where it also actually could coincide with the 200 EMA here sh uh, shown on the uh, shown as the bl as the black line here on the daily chart so but in a way, I mean, just judging from the overall picture that we got here, certainly as you, you probably understand that the S&P managed to yesterday close below the uh, this year's opening price and uh, this way kind of putting the year into the red. Now, we'll, let's see if it actually manages to get back above that into that positive zone for the year, of course, I'm talking about. So um, this is going to be quite an interesting week, especially to see how today's day is going to evolve and tomorrow's trading day is going to evolve as well. So 
all eyes are on the indices to, uh, this week so yep keep your eyes on these levels that I was just talking about uh, let's jump into one uh, commodity that I wanted to quickly show you and that's platinum now for this one probably I would need to go into a four hour chart um, because um, as you can see here it, it's kind of a bit of a mixed trading here um, and of course it, it has been on a slight decline here since the mid October but um, as you can see here it found a support here for the month at around 850 Let's, let's put it rounded up here around the 815 zone um, from which it kind of retraced back to the upside um, and now if of course if this is going to be correct if we're going to get a nice break above the 835.30 zone approximately there of course um, if that's going to happen then you could potentially be looking at a, something like an inverse um, head and shoulders formation here on the um, on the four hour chart so in a way then we could potentially aim for the 850 zone um, again so which was near the highs of of um, this month so uh, but again, for now, like I said, yep, guys, keep your eyes um, on this. I mean, until we get this break here above this 835 zone, um, we're just going to keep this in our in the back of our heads, just I, this idea kind of in a way. Uh, we're not going to really rely on this yet. But again, like I said, if we get this break of the so-called neckline here, then yep, we could see a bit more um, movement to the upside. If this drops below the 824 zone and also drops below the... The, uh, this 200 EMA on the on the four hour chart um, shown as the black line here then possibly probably scrap the idea and especially if we're gonna uh, drop below the 800 and, uh, 815 zone then yep we could be looking more towards the downside then so for now be very cautious keep uh, stay put and wait for the right signal um, let's jump into a few pairs now the uh, the first one I want to touch on is the euro dollar so um, I believe the Mario Draghi is still speaking is still holding his press conference and uh, we're seeing this activity here now so so the euro managed to push higher here today managed to test the 11430 zone from which as you can see it kind of declined back to the downside and overall it's still looking weak uh, we're still uh, moving lower and we're still below this little uh, short-term downside resistance line taken from the 16th of October now in a way here what you could do is keep your eyes on the yesterday's lows at around 113 80 approximately there of course now if this gets if this drop below this level now this is where it could become more interesting for the bears again because we could then target the lows here at approximately around the 113.50 but if that doesn't hold um it could open the path basically towards the 113 zone now the 113 is quite an important one as you probably are aware um, this is, was the low of the 15th of August so basically the lowest point of August that we had and a nice good break below the uh, 113.80 could in a way put this pair closer uh, to reaching that uh, this area here the 113 zone so um, on the upside well it because we do have this little and in a way tentative downside resistance line the short-term downside resistance line we're going to keep a close eye on it because if we get a nice move back above the 114.30 and then 114.45 or even actually 50 we can round it up here still um, we do have this downside resistance line which can potentially could hold um, the uh, the rate down and kind of it could act as a nice area for the bears to step in again but if this let's say gets broken and we see a nice good break above the uh, 114.95 uh, zone here on the euro dollar now this is where it could become more interesting this time for the bulls because this is this could open the path towards higher levels like the 115.50 or even higher but for now of course we're just going to keep a close eye on it as you can see the euro is stuck in this little range here um, it could potentially trade within this little range here between the 113.80 and the 114.30 for a while but um, once it kind of gets out of here uh, then we'll probably uh, look for further um, opportunities uh, jumping into another euro pair and uh, this is the euro GBP now looking at this one here as you can see we're still running below this downside resistance line taken from the peak of the 28th of August and uh, of course this is something that we're gonna keep a close eye on because as you can see it already today it tested that line um, but kind of never broke above it so this is what we're gonna, we're gonna still keep an eye on because if this 
gets breaking broken um, if this gets broken and we move above the um, the 0 0.8860 uh, zone approximately there now this is where it could become interesting and we could poss possibly aim for higher levels like the 0 0.8915 which was marked here uh, near the lows of the uh, of the third and uh, third of October um, and then of course if that doesn't stop we could then target much higher levels but for now for now be very cautious here keep your eyes on this uh, let me just adjust this level quickly here keep your eyes on the 0 0.8860 a nice good break above that could potentially like i said lead this uh, this pair towards um, higher levels um, on the downside well even if this is going to retrace back down we're st we still have this um, short-term upside support line that kind of has has been running since around the 10th of october um, in a way this could play out as a nice bouncing ground but <clears throat> let's say if this gets broken um, then we could probably take a quick look at this little level right here just let me put this line here at this low that we saw recently um, or to be more precise yesterday and that's approximately around the 0 0.8815 zone approximately there so keep, you could keep an eye on that one because a nice good break below that could um, potentially open the path towards the 0 0.8790 or even going lower so um, it is an at an interesting spot this pair here um, so my uh, suggestion here is just continue observing these levels and keep an eye on the possible breakout points um, jumping into USD CAD now this one is a as is a good one let's say because yesterday as you can see the CAD kind of strengthened the gout against the um, US dollar here um, on the data that came out and it managed to reach this 129.66 zone acted as it, it acted as a nice area of support but from which kind of it quickly reversed back to the upside <clears throat> and today we're seeing this nice bounce from the 130.12 zone so 1.30.12 continues kind of to act as a nice area of, of support and also it actually coincided here with the 200 EMA so quite an important area and we're heading now towards this um, downside resistance line that has been running here since around the peak of the uh, 27th of June so this is something going to be quite interesting to watch if we actually break it or not um, but for us for a better confirmation of the upside we would need to probably wait until we get this this little break here above this one um, let me just kind of adjust the arrow here a little bit and above the 13130 now this could potentially open the path towards the 13210 um, or even higher but for now of course we're going to keep a close eye on here uh, on this one and see how this plays out around the uh, this downside resistance line that I was just talking about um, so for now guys keep your eyes on it um, at the moment as you can see the pair kind of from since the 1st of October can continued to create um, higher lows and uh, yep this could be a short-term bullish sign here for now so until of course it reaches this um, this downside resistance line and this is where we're gonna keep monitoring and see if it actually breaks it or not and the last pair i wanted to quickly touch on and that's gbp jby um, certainly this one is on a nice curve here as you can see beautiful beautiful curve beautiful kind of bearish curve um, and we're continuing to move lower here certainly the weaker uh, the weaker pound is not helping and of course the yen buying which is related to the equity markets uh, weakening and uh, for now this is where we're going to keep an eye on we're going to keep an eye on clo close eye on the 144 here uh, 144.50 uh, sorry 32 area approximately there or to be more on the safe side you could kind of keep an eye on the, this low that we saw yesterday and that was approximately around 144 uh, zero 08 now a nice good break below that area here could potentially send this uh, send this much lower um, we do have a nice area of potential support here at around 142.60 but um, as well keep your eyes on this little um, area here um, which is which was marked here by the low of the 10th of September and that's approximately at around the 143.05 so a nice good potential area to watch and uh, support area of course 
Um, but in terms of the upside here, I mean, as you can see here, we, I do have this kind of steep, steep downside uh, resistance line. This very short term, of course, uh, running since around the 22nd of October, or should I probably say from the beginning of this week. Um, and if we do get a nice break above this and we get a nice close on the daily here above the 145.25, we could potentially maybe aim for a little bit higher here, maybe towards the 145.68. But to be honest, uh, we will probably proceed very cautiously here towards the upside because we do have, as you can see, because this is curved here, so we do have a potential here of a few more downside resistance lines that could kind of, in a way, play out. Um, so I just didn't want to didn't want to overcrowd the chart with these lines, but nevertheless, um, keep keep your eyes on one of those, and we could see maybe uh, one of them getting hit, from which kind of the uh, the bears could take advantage of the higher rate and push this one back down again. So. Um, that's why for now, guys, be very cautious with the upside um, and probably, like I said, for now, keep your eyes on this 144, 144.08 uh, area. Let's see how that plays out, if it actually reaches that again or not. If it reaches, then keep your eyes on the possible break here. Okay, guys, I'll have to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching and listening, and I hope you found it useful. And if you want to join me uh, tomorrow morning in my Traders Espresso, and that's 6 o'clock GMT time, 7 o'clock British Summer Time. But for now, I hope you have a fantastic remaining day, and thank you very much, and bye-bye.